Finally, on March 2, 1995, the two teams held a joint seminar at Fermilab. In front of a packed auditorium and the world's media, they announced their definitive, combined discovery of the top quark. The odds that their signals were just a random fluke were less than one in a million. The ghost had been caught. The hunt was over. The most expensive, most elusive, and most massive piece of the standard model was finally in place. For the physics community, it was a moment of incredible triumph and relief. The standard model, a theory built over decades of painstaking work, had held up. Its predictions were confirmed in the most spectacular way possible. Our map of the fundamental particles and forces was, at last, complete. But the story of the top quark doesn't just end there. In a lot of ways, its discovery is where the really interesting part begins. Finding it raised as many questions as it answered. For starters, why is it so ridiculously massive? Its weight, about 173 times that of a proton, is so out of whack with the other quarks that it feels like a cosmic clue. We don't have a good answer, but we know its enormous mass gives it a unique and powerful connection to another famous particle, the Higgs boson. The top quark's connection to the Higgs field, the field that gives particles their mass, is uniquely strong. This makes the top quark an incredibly powerful tool. By studying its properties with more and more precision, physicists can probe the Higgs field and hunt for tiny cracks in the standard model that might hint at new physics. Some theories even suggest that the top's extreme mass plays a role in the stability of our entire universe. It's no longer just the final piece of an old puzzle. It's a doorway to the next one. The hunt for the top quark was an amazing story of human ingenuity, global teamwork, and that relentless desire to understand our universe on the deepest level. If you enjoyed this trip into the subatomic world, hit that like button and subscribe for more stories from the frontiers of science. And let us know in the comments, what scientific mystery should we dive into next?